or nursing career path, we have to decide uh, obtaining or getting the diploma. That's the basic qualifications. We also have a specialized postgraduate program. That means we can specialize in cardia, in operating theater, or whatever. It's a specialized program, and this about my time was a one year program. Now it's a nine months program. During our time, we really compare during this period. Actually, it's really a lot of difference. Uh, we stay, if I can recall, we stay, you know, in the five. Five of us, my parents, I'm a twin, all right, my brother, my sister, and my grandmother. We stay under, we rent a room under a staircase. You know the old, old houses, the staircase is very deep. You know, and we rent a room under the staircase. And uh, a lot of rats, you know, you know rats. So uh, they, my parents will hang us, both of us on the sarong, you know, one on top of the other. And usually I'm on top. I don't know why, because I think my mom said I'm very naughty. I cried a lot. <laughs> so usually Maybe when you're I'm lighter. I'm, no, when I pass urine, <laughs> my brother is off. Raining, it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, it's still raining. Our teeth got no, got no pampers. We use cloth. Right. <laughs> and that's how we stayed there for about uh, two years, about one to two years, and then. We, we apply for you know the SIT flat. Last time we don't have a this HDB flat right. or staff. So we got a SIT flat. So we shifted to the SIT flat. Or at least we got bigger rooms, uh, not bigger, two rooms to share with nine nine of us stay in their house, the flat. Wow. Yeah. So in the good old days there's no phone, no fan. Alright, so I had to fan my brother to sleep every night. All right, my youngest brother. And truly, even like go to school, we got no pocket money. All right, 10 cent. Okay, and 10 cent for at the, uh, the bus fare, 10 cent, 20, so 20 cent plus, that was in secondary school, another 20 cent for, uh, for tea break. You know, you got tea break. So during our younger days, I walked to school with my brother. We walk to school. So, you know, we can't even afford to have shoes. We only have one pair of shoes a year, and we cannot even buy Bata shoe. Too expensive for us. We buy the, the don't know what that shoe. And uh, we always make sure that in the shoes, you know what we did? We put cardboard. We cut the cardboard, sleep inside the shoe. Because, you know, rainy days, uh, the, you know, the, the, the sole doesn't last long, we got holes. So the cardboard gets soaked. So every weekend we, we, we have to change the cardboard. You know our boxes, those cardboard? Uh, we use those cardboard. So those were the days we, we went through, but uh, I think it was good. We enjoyed And not only us, our classmates all was about the same. I mean, that was our generation. Life was very tough. And uh, to find a job, not easy. Very good to find a job. When we started nursing, our first uh, salary was $190 a month, $190. And we graduate as a staff nurse, it's about 210 or 230 it's around there. Yeah, so life was tough. It's not easy, so you compare now, honestly, a lot of things. And now job, there are plenty of jobs looking for people. Last time, even after apply temporarily to work in a factory, you know, the queue was so long, you know, Kalang based in the factory then. I queue up for almost half a day under the hot sun. When it comes to my turn, the supervisor came out and said, oh, you pay spectacle, you go back. Yeah, no, but not accepting you. So I was so sad. I said, oh, okay, where to find money for the family now? All right, so this is what we went through during our day. And now when they were young, I brought them out. But I, we went to the third world country first. I don't send them. We don't go on holiday, you know, but in America. We went to uh, Myanmar, you know, when I brought them there. Myanmar was under the new rules. Right. And the hotel condition was really very bad. All right, you know, you can go to the toilet with a big hole, you know, right, can climb into the hole. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I recall that time my daughter was, I think, about four years old. So every time when she reached the hotel, she would kneel in front of the bus and she started to say a prayer. 
So I asked her, say, why are you saying prayer so early? It's big, not big time yet. <laughs> and the mother said, she's praying that the next hotel is a better hotel. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So these are the environment that expose, you know, I expose them in, in the younger days to let them know that, you know, these are the hardships that all of us went through.